Uh, dude, are you not hostile? Oh, now he is. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah, let's get let's draw him off uh, because I'd rather not have an 800-pound grizzly bear right above my head with only a couple layers of dirt separating me and him when I'm trying to mine some some coal, you know. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst on 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have finally made it back home. And boy, what a journey that was. Um, it wasn't actually too terribly bad overall. Hi, bear and wolf and bear. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, it wasn't too bad overall. Um, you know, all things considered. Uh, I was able to subsist on eggs. And when I got to the desert, I'm going to put that there temporarily because we're going to have to probably fight some Zeeks up on the roof there. Uh, when I got to the desert, you know, then I was able to get yucca too. So um, we managed, you know, our food's actually not in terrible shape. I mean, we're hungry, but we're not like starving. So we were able to keep that under control. And I'll, I'll show you, you know, I'll show you kind of the path that I took uh, after we get things cleared up here and we get our bedroll uh, back down. Okay, let's hop up here. I need to actually do something about this. So... I'm expecting Zeke's up here, or Vultures at least, because, you know, I had to set my, my bedroll down. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're okay. All right, yeah, I guess we're good to go. Nobody in here? Nope. Awesome. Okay. That's fine by me. So let's get uh, the this bedroll uh, set back down so we get our spawn point reestablished. There we go. Okay. So yeah, um, let's uh, let's see. I got a, a bit of inventory management to do, but let's take a look at the journey here. So uh, basically, what I did is this is our nitrate mine down here, and then. Um, uh, I think I left you guys when I was still there. So I worked my way back, back up to this city and I mapped out this entire city. It's pretty large and, you know, there's some skyscrapers there. It's a very large place. Uh, but then I came to another pretty sizable city too. I started mapping out, but I, but then I got to thinking, well, I need to, I need to get going because, you know, a food, food was an issue and, and all of that. So I didn't finish mapping this out, but there's more city up to the north of here too. I don't know how much, but uh, it looked like a fairly sizable place as well. Uh, and then I got into the desert and basically followed this highway all the way up here. I knew this highway was here from my previous playthrough on the map. And I just didn't cherish the idea of going cross country uh, during the night. So I did go quite a ways out of my way to get back home. But at least I was on the highway the whole time. And I got attacked by, I don't know, a couple of buzzards when I was in the desert. So that wasn't really a big deal either. We just took them out with a shotgun. And so, uh, yeah, the, we are home. Now, uh, I think what I'm going to do, as I've given this a little more thought, is we're going to stay here until uh, Horde Night 35, just because, you know, we have a setup for it. And I might actually fast track getting the motorcycle, only because the motorcycle, A, goes faster, and B, um, has more storage. Uh, because moving our whole operation down south with a mini bike is going to be just a royal pain in the ass. Um, but I think... I think that's the right thing to do is to, to get down south, uh, either this city or probably this city, just because, you know, it's it's close to the nitrate. Um, and, you know, even this city wouldn't be bad. The nice thing about this city is it's got four gas pumps. But, I mean, I didn't – it was dark out, and I was, you know, constantly being chased by, uh, you know, nighttime zombies. So I didn't really have a chance to, to, to look at everything that was here. But I'm sure, you know, between these two cities, there's probably some gas pumps too. Um, so, but anyway, that being said, uh, the plan for now is that we're going to, we're going to keep doing some trader quests and, uh, stay here until the end of Horde 35. And then at that point, uh, if all goes well, I will probably go ahead and, um, start thinking about moving, moving down South. Um, uh, no promises. We'll kind of see how things go. Okay. So let's see, where are we at with points? We have one point, And so if we're going to start fast track into the motorcycle let me actually look and see um if i know any of the motorcycle parts oh wow look at all those all those motorcycles 
Okay, so uh, we just want looking for the vanilla stuff right now. Scrubbed motorcycle. Oh, that's cool. Here we go. So we don't know the chassis or the handlebars. Okay, so if we go to intellect, we are going to need intellect six in order to get motorcycle maniac. And we have intellect four right now. Um, but we have an effective intellect five when we wear those, right? So we really only need to put one more point into intellect uh, in order to to have an effective six. No, sorry, wait, right? Yeah. So we have an effective six right now, which means uh, when we get more points, we can now put that point into Motorcycle Maniac, and then we can make a motorcycle. So I think that is definitely the right move. Now, the motorcycle is going to use more gas than the mini bike, but, I mean, between all the gas pumps that I have currently have primed, uh, we, we got a lot of gas, uh, lots of gas. So let's look at our mini bike here. There's still a wolf over there, so we got to be careful of him. Let's get this uh, refueled, too. Um... Okay, so, yeah, I mean, I used a ton of gas on that trip, but, I mean, we went a long ways out of our way, too. Uh, and I still have a full stack and, and a little bit more even after that. So let's grab all of this, uh, but we'll put the cans back in there. And I probably can't move. Nope. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to put a few things back in here. Uh, actually, let's put all the nitrate back in here and whatever coal we have, because we're going to take that right on over to... The Kim bench. Um, here, I want to put this in there too. Uh, over to the Kim bench and start making that uh, here as soon as I get my inventory situated. We came back with 210 snowballs too, so we have those if we need them. So let's go up here and get. Um, well, here, yeah, let me just get my inventory sorted. And then uh, once I've gotten that done, uh, I'll bring you guys back and we'll go make some gunpowder and then start working on some trader quests. All right, guys, I forgot that I need to, I need to actually mine up some coal, too. And uh, I think, and I need to go fishing because I'm out of, pretty much out of food. I mean, I've got canned food, but, um, yeah, I think I'd rather go do some fishing. Let's actually see if, uh, do I have enough cans to do any kind of a soup? Let's just look. At that, oh, I guess I have these two MREs too. I forgot about that, but we should probably take those with us next time. Um, oh, look at that. Okay, so we can do a chicken soup and a lamb soup. Um, I think we can do both of them, right? Chicken ration, yeah, because I have multiple chicken soups. Okay, yeah, so let's make one of those and one of those, and that'll get us some, some sustenance going there, and then. I still think, though, I should probably go do a little bit of fishing. And I definitely have to get some coal, but I'd like to, you know, have my food back under control before we do that. Uh, so let's grab the uh, fishing pole, which is in here. This chest is getting full. I'm thinking about maybe selling these because you can sell them. And, I mean, I just don't know, again... Um, nobody's ever told me in the comments that they're they're needed for anything, you know, in terms of like a quest. So they're just taking up space. So I'm thinking about maybe, you know, maybe selling those. Okay, so let's see. What's this going to get us? This is going to get us 24 food, 11 health, okay? And this one's going to get us 21 food and 10 health. Nice. Okay, so that'll, that'll actually probably get us pretty close to, to the top there. Uh, oh, we got a... We got another insect thing too. Let's grab that. And I, I, I might have to make another charge uh, for this. Let's see. Do I have any more charges left? Um, we have beer, so we can make another charge. And uh, don't. I'm not spotting it. So I think I, yeah, I think I used the last one. Uh, so let's go, whoops, <clears throat> uh, beer, insect trap, refill. We need we need 10 insects to do that. Okay. So we're not going to be able to eat these now, but this gets us five charges. Uh, so it's definitely worth doing. 
Okay, do I have any any more bugs in here? Uh, I have one. Here, let's just eat it right now. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I got four blueberries, too. I was going to see if I could make... Oh, no, I can't make the trail mix because I, I need more berries and nuts, which I could get, you know, just by going out and hitting a bunch of grass, uh, you know, which we might do at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's get uh, let's get these bandages here, and I made some more aloe cream because I grabbed some more aloe whilst we were in the desert, so we can get um, some more bandages made up. Okay, so that's going. And, yeah, we're going to run down, and we're going to do some fishing. And after that, oh, okay, good. Our food is topped off all the way. Awesome. Um, we're going to do some fishing, and then I'm going to mine up some coal. What time is it? It's it's still morning, actually. So only 1130. So later on this afternoon, these bears are still hanging out. Uh, later on this afternoon, we'll go ahead and start working some trader quests. And, um, yeah, and go from there. Well, we have a bear uh, right in our coal mine, uh, so we need to get him out of here. Uh, dude, are you not hostile? Oh, now he is. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah, let's get let's draw him off uh, because I'd rather not have an 800-pound grizzly bear right above my head with only a couple layers of dirt separating me and him when I'm trying to mine some, some coal, you know? guys we have um two full stacks and a little more i think that's all i'm going to do right now because it is getting on in the day and i'd like to oh look we have a visitor down in the tunnel uh i'd like to get going on a poi uh, before nighttime so let's uh go ahead and take care of marlene here okay and we'll hop up uh, run over to the trader and get the uh gunpowder going Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I'm seeing a lot more T1 zombos too, by the way, so they're starting to come in. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna have to do that to you. Jeez Louise, that scared me. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, T1 zombos are coming in. I'm starting to see them uh, quite a bit now. So, all right, let's uh, let's get up here. I, that uh, really far southern city with the skyscrapers that I was talking to you guys about, I did find a trader gin there too. So there is a trader in town, which is pretty essential. And uh, all right, what do we need to do here? Let's um, drop off a couple of things. How much? Oh, you know what? We can get some more uh, concrete going with the limestone there. Uh, so let's do that. I, I've made 100 so far, but it's uh, really, really expensive. Oh, shit, we need murky water, too. Um, murky water here. Okay. So, yeah, let's just queue up. What are... Oh, man, what are we so short on? We got 500 sand. We got... Oh, it's the limestone. Yeah, that, that is the choke point on this. So that only allows us to make 50 more. Ah, oh, okay. So, you know, we're, we're not 
we probably won't be able to mass produce concrete until we get to a point where we're, you know, we've got an auger and our mining skill is really high. Uh, but as long as we can make enough to touch up some of the critical places in the horde base, maybe make the second row of cobblestone upgraded to concrete, I think we'll be okay for horde 35. Let's, well, let's just hope so. All right, I'm going to put this cement back in here. And um, let's eat this last thing of prawns just to free up a spot. But we got a whole bunch of fish uh, in here, which is good. We'll put this 13 in here. I was going to also put these torches away because we don't really need to carry them around anymore since I've got the helmet light. All right, good. Let's go over to the trader and get uh, our gunpowder cooking up. And then I'm going to make a whole bunch of pipe bombs. For Horde 935, that's going to be our primary means of killing the Horde. And we should get a pretty nice little chunk of XP uh, from doing that. Okay, you're just a normal 250. Okay, so... Let's put some of this coal in here to get it primed and make as much gunpowder as we can. So 414. Um, that's going to take 18 minutes. So, yeah, we're going to need uh, a little more fuel than that. Darling, cut it out. Is Baldy coming in here? Oh, maybe not. Okay, I don't have any wood on me. So let's see, four, or no, six coal gives us 11 minutes. So let's do this. Let's take everything back out. And let's put 12 coal in. Actually, no, let's put 15 in just to be on the safe side. There. Okay. Um, And we still have 269 left over. So... This takes some getting used to, man, because I'm used to making, like, 10,000 gunpowder and vanilla seven days to die. <laughs> oh, boy. It's a, it's a constant struggle, man. A constant struggle here in Ravenhurst. Okay. Let's go ahead and go do a quest. Oh, there's Baldy. Come here, brah. You're just normal, normal hit point, Baldy. All right, so I've got three trader quests. Um, oh, you know what? We've got the stuff to do this too. Paper flesh, yeah. Let's. Uh, we'll do that later, though. We can do that at nighttime. Um, so we got the tier one clear. This is the closest one. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. That's actually our active quest anyway. So it'll work out pretty good. All right, so we've already done this house once. Oh, look at that little trick there. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so let's see. I think we're going to... We don't need to take that with us. I think we're going to want everything else. Let's get the, um, the barricades down. And we have our luckies, but we'll keep our other ones on for the moment. Yep, yeah, I think we're good. Okay. So let's get started here. We know there's going to be... A Zeke uh, right behind the corner here. So let's just wake him up. Hola. Oh, maybe not. Okay, never mind. There isn't one. Pumpkin seeds? Okay, we'll take that stuff. Okay, because it's getting uh, on to nighttime, we're going to 
secure the stairs. Uh, but we got to take care of these guys first. Plus, we have a an Arlene and a McDonnie Ronnie coming in. Whoa, shit. Got a bunch of dudes coming from the outside. Need to get a little stamina back here. You dead? Yeah, he did. Okay. We probably better take one of these. I will loot the bottom floor, but I want to get the uh, the stairs cleared first. Oh, jeez, Louise! Where did you come from? You're kind of scary. Damn. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's get these uh, stairs secured so we can be upstairs uh, at nighttime and not worry about getting attacked from nastiness coming from down below. We'll still have to deal with nastiness up above, but that's we can do that. Oh crap, we got to we got to get this repaired. It's about ready to break. Is that a thing? No. Okay, let's get everything else looted here. And we're gonna put that right there so we can hop up here when the time comes. Reload. We're getting very low on shotgun shells. I'm hoping we find some in this place. All right, um, let's put our luckies on and see what we got in here. Not a damn thing. Try this one. Okay, steel knuckle schematic. Um, I think I might actually sell that. Yeah, I think I might actually sell that. Okay, we got a couple things in the kitchen here, and there's something in here to check. Some soda. Got a zombo stuck out somewhere. Okay, that takes care of everything in here. We got a zombo that's being a pain in the butt inside of here. Okay, it's night time. But uh, let's check in here really quick. Blood bag. Toilet pistol. Some bowls, and I think that's it. Okay. Let's go upstairs. And, you know, we can't, we're going to have to be really careful up here because any sleepers we run into, we're going to have to fight them up here. So, oh, you know what I want to do? Let's grab this. I got a couple of these, but that way we can offload a few things. Okay, let's see if we can get up to here first. I've got bad memories about this house, you guys. <laughs> 
But the only reason we died is because I didn't secure the stairs, and I should have. But we did it this time, so we're learning. We are learning. Okay, let's put these two bags down. Uh, where's the other one? Here we go. And then I can offload some of this stuff. So last time we went in here, I had a major jump scare. Uh, there was a zombie right in the shower stall. So if he's in there again, he's not going to be able to just come right out and scare us. I can't really block that other side, though, so. All right. Yeah, she's there. Oh, shit. What the hell? Wow. How do you miss at that close of range with a double barrel shotgun? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. She was fast, though, too. And putting this on here didn't really help a whole lot. Well, it, actually it did, because it gave me another half a second or so for her to have to jump over it. So, it, it worked out. It worked out. I don't think I'm going to take any of that. Okay, let's check the medical pile here. Good, we got a steroid. We might end up using that. And let's also go ahead and heal up so we're at full health. Nothing there. Nothing there. That goes up to the attic where there's going to be some loots. Okay, let's try this place next. Make sure both of our shotguns are loaded. Thank you very much. Uh, might be a zombo in there. Nope, looks like it's clear. Okay. Nothing there. Let's check the garment bag. Man, we, we have not found any backpack upgrades for a very long time. I would like, like to find something like that. You can get them out of dressers. Um, nah, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Let's go check this out here and be wary of vultures. Um, I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't see us using a bone knife anymore. I really don't. I, if if we go back to anything else, well, put it this way, we won't. We're going to use the machete from now on until we find ourselves a hunting knife so that we can actually finish the quest. Okay, here, here's what we're going to do. Instead of going around the other way, uh, we're going to go through this way because um, you know with the zombos running and stuff I don't want to have to deal with that if I don't have to except for we can't really yeah I don't think we need to worry about the guy down below we can't really see in there though can we here let's take this one out oh look at that Okay, so we have an we have the uh, element of surprise here. So let's take this dude out. Okay, got the attention of some more Zeeks, but they shouldn't be able to get up here. You know what? Let's uh just just be on the safe side. Let's get rid of this too.
Okay. Now we may have agitated some of the zombos upstairs. Let's let's go ahead and pop a hole right here. Okay, so we haven't we haven't gotten the attention of any of those guys. Oh look at that, man. We can ninja this right through the opening here. I have to I have to say I, I don't I don't feel safe right now. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Don't feel safe right now. Okay, let's see what we got. Give us something good, man. Something good. Uh, okay. Not terrible. So we're gonna get. We're gonna have at least one. Okay, we got Ronnie McDonald on the floor there. Let's see if we can take him out first. Fortunately, he's just a normal Ronnie McDonald. He's not a. Good. Okay, so we got rid of him. Um, now let's pop a hole in here. We got two Zeeks in there. Let's see if we can pull one without the other. Okay, good. So far, so good. I think everybody that we're hearing otherwise is down below us. Okay, let's hit Darlene next. <coughs> Alright. And then... There's usually a Zombo... Uh, on the other side of this... Wall. Yep. There's a Ronnie McDonnie right there. Come here, buddy. Mr. Arrowhead. He did. Okay, so that still doesn't finish out the quest. I wonder if there's a Zombo in that bathroom there. Um... Okay, here, let's do this. Let's go into here. Check this for a backpack upgrade. No, but we can sell that. And I've been finding a lot of red level scrap armor. Which is not a bad thing. Okay. More stuff for the trader. Okay, let's punch a hole in here. Yeah, see, we got a big mama there. Okay. Can we reach her from here? Not really. All right, well, let's loot the sink before she destroys it. Oh, that's pretty nice. Can't quite get to her. All right, what if we do this? Wait, what is she doing? Yeah, let's break this out. There we go. Hi, big mama. Have a machete sandwich. We still haven't cleared all the zombies. It shouldn't be counting the ones down below that have come from outside. Uh, where... Hmm. Where are more zombies in this house? I thought that was all of them. Huh, okay. Well, apparently there is at least one more that we're going to have to take out. So, 
Let's get this out of the way. Can we do this or this? Yeah, we got one space back. Uh, this isn't worth selling, so let's scrap that. Anything else that we don't absolutely need? Don't really want to get rid of any of that. Don't really want to get rid of it. Well, you know what? We don't need this. That we can sell. I'd rather not use the steroid if we don't have to, just because I'd like to save it for more dire circumstances. Want to hang on to the canned food. We need to eat, but that's not going to save us any space. We could get rid of the jars. Uh, but let's take a drink of red tea before we do that. Okay, so we're not too terribly encumbered. I need to be on my guard because there is there's apparently another zombo somewhere in here. Oh, you know what? I'll bet it's in the pool house. I'll bet you it's the zombie. There's a zombie in the pool house. That's probably what it is. Okay. We might have to wait until morning then to finish uh, that one out because I don't obviously don't want to go down there at night. Okay, come on, give us something good. Well, we got more shotgun shells, so that's not too bad. Backpack upgrade, please. Oh man, you stupid game. Okay, so that's it for here. Nobody's out here. Yeah, there's a zombo down in that pool house, and I bet you that's the one that we have to finish eliminating. I don't want either one of those. Okay, let's head up here. Check the purse. Be ready for any vulture action. Okay, I think we're good. I've been in here many times and I've never seen a zombie in here. Oh wow, look at all that grain alcohol. And 15 more jars after we threw some out. Check the luggage. Um, pretty decent stuff. Pretty decent stuff. We're gonna we're like really over encumbered now though. There you go. We already have these, so we can just sell sell them. And nice. Okay. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Okay, this will just drop us back down here. And uh, anything stack. Yeah, one thing stacked. And one more thing stacked. Okay. We don't need that. Don't need four things of cloth. I hate to throw 15 jars away, but under the circumstances, we're going to throw the bones out. Um, I'm going to throw that out and keep this. I'm not going to keep 18 nitrate. And uh, this, this is worth, barely worth hanging on to sell. Actually, you know what? It's probably worth more scrapped now that I think about it. Yeah, way more scrapped. Like... 300% more. Okay. Um, is... Is there anything in here? I don't think so. Alright, we're still, even after all of that, we're still 11 things encumbered. Is there a way to get to the pool house without getting at? To get that last zombie killed. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could try to walk along the wall. I don't I don't know if there's a way for zombies to get up there from the back side, like if there was like a dumpster or something back there. I'm just not sure. Uh, we probably better play it safe and just hunker down for, uh, for the night. So... I think I'm going to do that, and then um, when morning comes, 
I'll bring you guys back. We'll go kill that last zombie and then do the turn in and then end the episode. Okay, so I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, it just turned morning. Uh, so let's go ahead and go down to our mini bike and drop off what we have. And then we'll go kill the dude in the pool house to finish the quest. Okay, so she's dead. What? <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Get your butt down here. Make sure nobody's coming that way. You are scary looking, man. There we go. Return to trader. Okay, we got her done. Uh, let's just check a couple. There's a couple things we can loot back here. There is actually sometimes a zombo in that closet. Um, but if there is, the quest apparently didn't count it. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing. There does appear to be a zombo in the pool house too. Alright, we're not gonna take that. Any food? Yeah, we got some charred meat. And we have how about a like a meat stew or something? Oh, that's not bad either. Hey. Right. Where are you going, dummy? Come over here. Okay, we don't have to kill that guy. Oh, she's stuck. <laughs> Nurse Nancy? Yeah, we unstuck you. Or did we? Oh, no, we didn't. All right, too bad for you. Somebody in there? All right, let's get this food here. Nice. There's a wolf out there, but he, the wall's preventing him from getting to us, fortunately. Oh, there we go. Nice. Perception shades. If nothing else, we can use those... For an effective point to get, you know, a, a next level skill kind of idea. Okay, not worried about the wolf. Not worried about stupid Ronnie McDonnie. Let's just get the hell out of here. Um, I, I, I guess I'll come back later for that stuff we left upstairs. Just have to remember to do it. Okay, let's go do our turn in and then we got, we need to wrap up this episode. Oh my gosh, you know what? I forgot I forgot this turn in is in the other town. Wait, where is it at? Oh, this is the one trader Hugh gave us. Okay. Well, we got a tier one clear up here that we need to do. And we have a fetch here. So I think what we'll do is wrap up the episode now. And we'll start the next one. And we'll do this fetch. Go up north, do this clear, and then cross over and do all the all the turn-ins. So I think that's what we'll do. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to off camera. I'm just going to go get all the rest of the loot out of that house, um, and you know, kind of get everything situated, and then I think we'll start up the next episode right after that. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.